Today on the channel, beware of pythons with the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Python Patrol Bat. The Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another G.I. Joe Classified unboxing and review. And today, from the Python Patrol with the shared Hasbro Pulse Target exclusive, we got the Python Patrol Bat. But remember, for all your other G.I. Joe figures that aren't Hasbro and Target exclusives, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. Anything over $39 does ship free we got to get a deal and did we get a deal with the python patrol bat now this of course is a very easy repaint for hasbro uh from the traditional bat that we got uh, earlier this year i think it was january february of 2022 i don't know what is time anymore as i always say uh but now at the end of the year we're gonna get this version of bat and we do know next year we're getting a crimson guard version of bat now the crimson guard version python patrol version they're made up. They are made up for this G.I. Joe classified line as these were not around back in the day in the old glory days of G.I. Joe. And some might say we're in the glory days, but the 80s heyday, at least for me. Uh, so these are just uh, remakes by Hasbro. And at the end of the day, it's them getting the most out of their molds, making repaints and things like that. And I can see some people being against that. Some people saying, I'm not buying this because it never really existed in the past. But you know what? It exists now. I'm picking this up. I don't know if I'll go as crazy as I did with my other bats, but I'm thinking I'll probably pick up three of these. I think three is a good army builder number, especially for the Python Patrol. And I have been hearing these have been hitting, starting to hit target stores right now. And some people have found seven in all in one pop. So I don't know if this will be the hardest thing to get, as we've talked about on the channel, at nauseum. Yes, nauseum. Uh, demand, it skyrocketed during the height of G.I. Joe. When G.I. Joe first came out, Target's ordered a ton of products. So I do think we'll see a lot of these out in the stores. And it is the holiday season. Deals are here to be had at Target. You're going to see a lot of spend $100, get $25 off. I got to think there's going to be a lot of people army building these Python Patrol bats uh, in the near future. So without further ado, though, let's do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. Let's take a look at the packaging. Let's talk about it. Let's unbox it. Let's talk about it. Let's see where it goes from there. We'll do some comparisons later on in this very video. So without further ado, let's look at the old bat. Now, bats are always cool, and we do got bats coming from Super 7 as well. So it's Batmania in 2022. They've had quite the year, uh, the bat, uh, the cybernetic robots, and always thought they were cool because uh, in the cartoon they died. And I always try to, you know, use my imagination, pretend they were humans getting killed. Because that was one thing as a kid. It's like, gosh, nobody ever gets shot. Nobody ever dies. So then they brought in these robots, and uh, we were off to the races. They would get blown up and destroyed. And I always thought that was cool as a little kid. But uh, it is really your bat paint by numbers, but your paint is in a different color from the previous version and like i said we'll compare those later in this video gi joe little glamour shot action there big window box for now for now we still got the window box here all kinds of weapons and accessories going on on the side you got the bat number 41 in the line for those keeping track at home get some interesting artwork i wish the artwork is more uniform as i said i really wish the artwork all connected like uh, the star wars black series does i think that would have been a really nice touch on this line is what it is at this point. And in the back, I absolutely hate. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. There's nothing here redeeming for me at all. It's like a jungle scene. What is this? There, there's so much more they could do. It's just a waste of space. Really, at the end of the day, that's what I'm going to say. That's my hot take. It's hot take. It does have the Python Patrol logo back there, though. But nothing. Nothing. Nothing warrants anything. No blurb. Nothing like that. I guess you can't really give a blurb when you made the character up. And as we do know, Hasbro does own uh, the license to G.I. Joe. You got the Python Patrol background, though. That's kind of cool. Off to the races. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison for the old Python Patrol bat. There he is looking good. Looking only like a Python Patrol bat would look if he was a Target Hasbro store exclusive. That's what he would look like. Just like this. Uh, let's pop that out. Pop that out. Pop that. That. Oh, we're popping them all out. Some might say we're popping and locking. I wouldn't, but some might say it. And off to the races. See you later up high. Goodbye. All right, put him off to the side. Let's break down this stuff. And a lot of this is very, very familiar as it is a paint change. So we do get, uh, we are missing a few things though, aren't we? No, maybe not. No, I was thinking there was an extra hand, but the hand's on him. So there you go. So you do get the two blasters here. I think this one's more of like a flamethrower, if I'm not mistaken. This is another blaster. I do love they have plugs on the end of the barrel. So if you have effect pieces, maybe from that Viper 3-pack, you can put some of that in here. Would have been nice to at least get one of those with this. 
Uh, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. But we've seen both of these before. We've seen this pistol before. I do like the added attention to detail with the yellow, little yellow, the old Python Patrol yellow going on against the black. Once again, a very, very good weapon. All these weapons look really good in hand, or I should say extra hands, really, these. Uh, then you got the clamper, the old pincher, because bats will come up and pinch you. Oh, they'll pinch you on the arm and it hurts. And that's what this is for. All in black this time. And you do get the backpack, same backpack we saw before. One thing I really do like about this backpack is you can store everything in it, so that is always cool. Wish there was a little bit of color in here, especially down to the, some of the wires and stuff. Some silver paint would have went a long way. That's for you artsy types. You customizers can really make these pop uh, if you are so inclined, so we do get that. And then we do get the chest plate, and I believe the last version of Bat, we got two different chest plates. We got just a plain black one, and we got a damaged one. This time, we get one with the Python Patrol insignia going on there. Very, very cool. Uh, definitely reminds me of the 80s. I have said it before. Tiger Force is my favorite all-time G.I. Joe sub-brand. I absolutely love the Tiger Force line when I was a little kid. And I also dabbled pretty hard in the old Python Patrol. And in my childhood playing days, Serpentor took over G or took over Cobra, I should say. Took over Cobra fully, kicked, uh, kicked Cobra Commander out, and Cobra Commander said, okay, I'm going to get my own team. And that's where Python Patrol came in. And I added some other guys, and there was kind of a three-way fight going on against Serpentor, Cobra Commander, and the Joes. Uh, childhood playing days, they can't be beat for sure. Now that does class onto the chest piece here if you want it to, or you can leave it bare. Like I said, I'm going to army build these. I'm going to have three of them. Three of them loose. I'll have one with that on, one without, and I'll flip coin for the other one. Then you change the hands, you change the arms, make them feel as different as possible. That's what you got to do with these uh, type bat type army builder figures. So let's break down this Python Patrol bat. Let's start with the articulation. We'll get the articulation out of the way. Of course, arm goes all the way around really nice. Got a bicep cut. Ooh, got very tight elbows, very tight elbows going on here. Uh, very nice. Oh my gosh, those are extremely tight. You might want to be careful because it's a little bit thin in the middle here with this being a robot. You could possibly break it, possibly. You never know what might happen. Hands back and forth, side to side. Hands are removable. We saw all the extra accessories, weapons we can put on there. So if need be, head back and forth, side to side, up and down. You even got a neck ball at the bottom. One thing I forgot to mention on the previous version of the bat, of course, that had a damaged head. This does not. So this, as a whole, does come with less parts than the original bats. Uh, so take that that for what you will we do get the ab crunch there uh back and forth a little bit loose a little loose in that ab crunch uh, we also got some butterfly shoulders once again very very tight on the butterfly oh my gosh the plastic is extremely tight on these extremely tight but then once you break it kind of the seal on it it gets a little bit looser a little too loose now so it's either too tight too loose one in the middle is what i'm looking for you get waist articulation you can do those big old robotic splits if you need to because robots are the best at doing splits of course you got the drop down hips you got the thigh cut you got double jointed pinless knees i'm here for that all day long you guys know that you do got a boot cut you got ankle articulation back and forth up and down so really good movement on this one uh, just a little inconsistent some joints are really tight some are really loose so very strange there now, a lot of differences here in the color combinations there. The red visor, the yellow, of course, the maroon colors here, the grays. Definitely is a bat, but definitely looks different. You got that same holster around him. Instead of being in black, it's yellow. Of course, you can store his weapon right there on the side. You got pockets throughout. He's got beautiful pants on. And what's a robot need pants for? What's that all about? We never figured that out. Why are the bats wearing pants? Why are they wearing clothes? I don't know. It's a little strange when you think about it. Uh, you do got the yellow cobra insignia on the shoulder. That looks really good as well. Uh, just all around really good. And then, of course, the backpack does fit into the back. Very easy, G.I. Joe style. I'm here for that all day long as well. Very, very cool. Let's see. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Stands are going on sale, of course, at ringside this time of year. Now is the time to stock up, folks. Uh, like I said, use discount code KYLE. And make sure you're getting the Mattel stands, the Mattel wrestling stands. Don't get the AEW ones. Those aren't going to work, but he fits perfectly on here. Of course, we do got the other Cobra Bat, and you can definitely tell the differences here. Very similar, but very different in the paint scheme, but kind of cool, really, at the end of the day. I'm all about army building some of these guys. I love the Joes, but I have about eight or nine of these. Of course, there was a hot Amazon sale for like $14 on these bats. I loaded up then. These guys, I don't know. We'll see. I'm thinking right now I'll probably have three. I think three just looks really good standing together. But you can definitely tell the similarities between these. Just some paint difference, really, at the end of the day, and less accessories. So does this feel like a value? 
not compared to this. If you're only going to get one bat, you probably should get the original one. It is the OG bat. It does come with more stuff, and you can probably get a better deal and easier to find at this point. Uh, this one will be around for a little bit, then it'll come and go like most exclusives do, so take that for what you will as well. But there's that bat. And then, of course, we do have the Python Patrol Viper from the channel. We unboxed this months ago, like last July, so check out that. But we're starting to build out the Python Patrol Army. We know Copperhead's coming, but I don't think he's in this... Uh, kind of uh, scale, but you got to think Copperhead's going to get a repaint one of these days to Python Patrol. Hopefully we get the Cobra Commander and kind of, it always kind of looked like scuba gear Cobra Commander to me, so hopefully we get him in the line to kind of lead the Python Patrol. Got to think that is coming one day soon, but at the end of the day, very cool, just not as cool as the original. That's where I'm going to put it, but what say you? Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this Python Patrol bat. You all in, you all out, you playing the long game, you easy passing it. Let me know your thoughts on this one. And let me know your thoughts on the Python Patrol subline in the comments down below. You made it this far. You might as well like the video. It always helps the channel to give it the old thumbs up to the videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. You don't want to miss a video. And for even more content, bonus content, Q&A, pizza reviews, uh, early access to videos, you name it. Or if you just want to support the channel, head on over to the Patreon link in the description below. And then you can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget about social media. Hit me up on Twitter, SirPaul64, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the Target Hasbro exclusive Python Patrol Bat, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.